Okay, so quick video on how to avoid mistakes in herringbone. Hopefully you can learn from my mistake. Uh, right, firstly start off with your centre line. Let's get this so I can show you. Uh, I think some people use the corner of a tile as a centre line, corner to corner to corner. Uh, I've not done, I've watched a YouTube video and I've gone down the middle of that tile, down the middle of that tile, down the middle of that tile, and so forth. So I've used the centre of the end of the tile as my centre line. And my centre line went middle of that to middle of that, the cooker hood. So I started off, I placed a tile at the bottom there, there's one tile on the bottom there, the corner of that tile sat on the worktop and then I worked my V up from there. So my V, that corner there, that corner there sat four and a half centimetres exactly, that corner sat four and a half centimetres to there, that corner and so on. The same with these, that corner sat four and a half centimetres, that corner sat four and a half centimetres and so on and so forth to there. So that gave me what I thought was a good, a good starting point. So when you stand back and look at the kitchen, we had a good, a good aesthetic look. Now I've learned from my mistake and as I'm working my way left, Now let's look at it another way. That brick there works onto that brick, which works onto that brick. And I've had to shave a little bit of that corner off, which then works onto that brick, which then works onto that brick. And I've shaved even more of that corner off, which works onto that brick, which works onto that brick and even more of that corner has come off. So, herringbone, learn from your mistakes. Looking back, what I would have done, usually if you were to tile any other, any other tile, whether it be square or rectangle, and you were to tile in a, an older fashion, a different fashion, usually, Provided your worktop is obviously horizontal and level, you'd put your, your your bottom tiling all the way across from left to right, and then you'd obviously tile up from there. Now looking back, the way I'd have would have done this, I would have laid that tile, that tile. And that tile, so that one that sits on that corner there, pivots on that corner, I would have laid that one, that one, and then I would have sat that corner up as it should do, that one, that one, and then that corner, that one, that one, and I'd have sat that corner on the worktop. And that would have given me my bottom line, essentially, all the way across from left to right. And then I would have put my V's in there with tile spaces. Bop, 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 bop. Next V, bop, 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 and so on and so forth. Now that might have thrown it out that way slightly, I don't know. So I suppose I'd have never won on this one, but looking back, that's what I'd have done. And I've done my bottom V all the way across and then laid them in on top of that on top of that bottom V. Anyway, hope that helps. Herringbone. <laughs>